Hi there YouTube, have you been having problems with Sony Vegas like me? I'm more than likely speaking to YouTubers, so this video is for you. There's a number of different things that, you'll, that you can do to help Sony Vegas from crashing, or if you're having, a, or, or if you're experiencing things like images flickering. There's a number of things you can do. They, some fix it, some help it. It's usually a combination of both. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a very quick ways how to how to help your Sony Vegas and stop it from hopefully stop it from crashing and just generally work a bit better for you. Okay, here we go. So the first thing that you can do is if you go to the icon either on your start bar wherever wherever you have it and you go into Sony Vegas. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 13 64 bit system. My Sony Vegas has been crashing a lot lately and images have been flickering once a video has been rendered. Have you had that? So, yeah, I'll come to that in a moment. One thing you can do, like I said, go to the icon and go to Properties. Once you're in Properties, you can click into the Compatibility tab, okay? Now, always run the program as an administrator and You've got a number of different packs here which will help the compatibility with your operating system run alongside and with Sony Vegas itself. Um, I'm not a programmer, I can't tell you how it works, my girlfriend is and she killed me for not telling you, but experiments going down this list. Don't fiddle with the other ones and remember to tick this here, the privilege level, always run as an administrator. It'll still ask you for permission to run the program, but it, it runs it in, a, in an elevated state of uh, authorized use. So yeah, run the compatibility packs, close Vegas, and then start it up again. It's the software equivalent of turning things off and on again. So go down this list and likely one will work. And you'll, you'll notice that even if it doesn't fix it, it'll help Sony Vegas run a lot smoother. So run as admin and run down the compatibility tab there. Another fix for this, which I have seen done, is going into Control Panel. More than likely you'll see this if you have Windows 7. Uh, small icons and go into Power Options. And whichever power plan that you're in, I've got this one. Change Plan Settings and then click into Advanced. Now if you go down to Process Power Management, Processor Power Management, Go into maximum processor state and lower the the setting to 95%. Now you'll notice I haven't done that because I found obviously a, a service pack which is obviously compatible with the 64 64 byte Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, just helps everything run a bit smoother. So you can do that. Lower your maximum processor speed to 95%. I assume it helps with the clock speeds, with the graphic memory, as well as obviously the processing memory of your CPU. Um, right, another fix is is if you see I'm, I've got a project here I'm, I'm currently doing Among the Sleep, you see. So another thing that you can do once in here, if you go into options, excuse me, ah, that's better, right, and you go to preferences and you go into video, if your image has been flickering, this will, it will either help or it will fix it. Again, try a combination of, of the previous things I've just said. You can, if it crashes whilst rendering, either lower the dynamic RAM preview to something lower, 100, or try zero. It'll take longer to render, don't get me wrong, but this window here, which it's in, it, it obviously just, um, well, it runs, doesn't it, as you render, so by lowering the, the RAM, it helps it helps it render and process the video better. Again, don't know how it, <laughs> the technical side behind it, I don't know. But recently, my portrait, after I cookie-cutted my, myself in the corner here, obviously on the cam file, it started flickering um, once the video had rendered. And I looked this up, one way to fix this, in fact, it's the only way I do know how to fix it, so my apologies. If you go into GPU acceleration of video processing, click it off, apply and then press OK, 
close Vegas, open it up again, and then come back in here. Turn it back on again, if you, again, if it's just something recent, recent that's happened, like me. Turn it back on again, then close Vegas, that's important. Then open Vegas one more time, and it should, I've noticed it, it flicking on the preview window, but once render, once the video has been rendered, it actually helps. Try it yourself. Again, this is just another software equivalent of turning it off it again. I'm assuming that there's some sort of cache in the back of the system which is cleared by turning it off and on again. So try that. And right, other fixes. Yes, something else that you could do. Uh, you could, like I said, you turn off the, the GPU acceleration. One other thing that you could do, go into properties here, the template settings, it might be too low, it might be too high for your system. I don't, I've heard this done before, but in all truth, I'm operating on an Intel i7. My graphics card is an NVIDIA GTX 770. My power supply is 750. I've got eight gigabytes of RAM. Not huge, I know. But basically, it's a pretty decent system. And there was no, there is no reason why this shouldn't work. So you can try using a different template and that, that would help as well. And let's just take a look. There is one more thing that you could do, which I am aware of. When you go to render the video, give it a second. Customize template. You can, I usually render using the CUDA if available, the CUDA cores within my graphics card. So you can render using your CPU, you know, close everything down whilst in Vegas if it keeps doing it because streaming other media whilst rendering a video, it, it, it really does bo bottleneck graphic memory. So that can crash as well. My girlfriend actually has Vegas as well. She does her own YouTube channel and we can't watch she can't watch uh, videos whilst rendering because it times out, it crashes uh, Vegas. So close all other, other types of, um, of media and just literally go have a break, <laughs> do a poo. <laughs> so or if it's already by default on render using CUDA if available or the equivalent for whatever graphics card that you're using, um, just render using CPU only. More often than not, uh, disabling the GPU acceleration in, v in Vegas tends to, uh, it, it tends to smooth things out a bit. It takes longer, yes it does, but um, those are general fixes. Yeah, the very last thing, what you could try, in fact, this is, this is key. If, you, if you've tried all of that and nothing is still working, what you could do is you can download, it's QuickTime. QuickTime player, the, the video player. Why? Well, the codex, the video codex that QuickTime uses to play videos is used by other media programs, such as Sony Vegas. So some of the files that would run in QuickTime can be used by Sony Vegas to help it render videos. It's all computer language, really. It, it reads the information and translates it into the video that you want a bit better. I suppose that's a good way of putting it, I suppose. But, and again, if all else fails, what you could try is doing a registry clean. That will really help. Close Vegas whilst you do this, and do the standard things, because a heavily fragmented drive can obviously falter, the, falter anything. Um, do a virus scan, but most importantly, what you could do is just clean, do a registry fix. I use Advanced System Care for this, it's free, you can download it. It's excellent, in fact, so I'll recommend that to you right now. So, um, Advanced System Care, you can get the free version, of course, well, I've got Pro. Anyways, hopefully that's helped you, um, and good luck. Just try, try a combination of different things which I've already told you, and hof hopefully, it's going to help you. So good luck 
and I'll just throw this out there whilst you're watching. I have my own YouTube channel, it's Xynthus Game, I am a YouTuber, just doing video games, but again, hopefully this has helped you guys too, because um, I was pulling my long hair out, <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's work now, it's stable. I do get, I'll be honest with you completely, every video that I've seen which is trying to explain how to fix this have said, it works perfectly, this will fi fix anything. It's very rare now that Sony Vegas will crash for me. But I suppose if you had to equate how much this improves your processing of a, of a video, it probably helps, if you get it right, probably helps about 80% better. And that's all I've got. Thanks very much for watching, guys. And yeah, check out my other YouTube channel if you're bored. <laughs> Just throwing it out there, self-promoting. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.